when there's the Ghostbusters sequel nostalgia bait. Who are you gonna call? Harry Thomas to review it. Ghostbusters Afterlife, uh, directed by uh, Jason Reitman, thankfully uh, not uh, by uh, Paul Feiger this time round, and Jason Reitman being uh, Ivan Reitman's uh, son, the director of the original 1984 film, and is the fourth instalment in the Ghostbusters uh, franchise uh, overall, as uh, a... a, a uh, le legacy sequel continuation of uh, the first two Ghostbusters movies. It uh, uh, does not tie into the 2016 re reboot in any way, shape or form and is the franchise's course correction movie. So Ghostbusters Afterlife tells the story uh, taking place, uh, well, like uh, a uh, years after the events of Ghostbusters 2, where in Oklahoma, original Ghostbusters team member Evlon uh, dies, and uh, he, uh, his uh, daughter, uh, Callie, a single mother, and her two children, Phoebe and Trevor, move into uh, uh, his uh, farm, uh, and they discover that the farm is in fact haunted, and uh, Phoebe and Trevor discover the truth about their grandfather, and they are the future generation of the Ghostbusters. Now, literally every single Ghostbusters uh, fan, after uh, their uh, uh, utter disappointment in the 2016 reboot, made uh, the call to a uh, Sony and were like, uh, Sony, uh, you uh, can't leave uh, Ghostbusters in shambles like this, so we need a course correction and we need it fast. Uh, and uh, thus uh, Sony uh, uh, answered their request. Uh, I uh, don't uh, hate uh, the reboot like it's a crime against humanity or anything, and I do not dislike it because it has an all-female uh, uh, Ghostbusters team. That is not the problem, because an all-female Ghostbusters movie can be done uh, right. So, I mean, Ocean's 8 uh, does... Uh, uh, it writes and uh, uh, I would love a all female men in black movie, Women in Black, someday. But the problem was, it was just a totally unnecessary uh, reboot, and it just called itself Ghostbusters without any imagination in the title. Uh, whereas uh, Go Ghostbusters Afterlife not only does it have the most original title of the Ghostbusters sequels thus far, but it feels like uh, it's it's continuing the original Ghostbusters story after Ghostbusters 2, which I personally defend and and is not starting anything from scratch, uh, f thankfully. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it was initially supposed to release July 2020, but was of course uh, postponed until November 2021 because of uh, the dreaded COVID pandemic and... Uh, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, I uh, do find this to be the most overrated Ghostbusters movie. I mean, of course, it was never going to uh, hold a candle to the 1984 original, which, by the way, the original celebrates its 40th anniversary this year. Uh, I'll have to re-watch it this Halloween just to celebrate that anniversary alone. But, uh, but honestly, I would happily watch Ghostbusters 2 over Afterlife for uh, any day of the week. That said, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, is uh, still a, uh, a, 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 a... That being said, Afterlife is a definite uh, uh, improvement over the 2016 reboot and uh, certainly with uh, Jason Reitman, Ivan Reitman's uh, son, helming the project, you can see he was uh, doing his best to uh, continue uh, his father's legacy and uh, uh, the franchise's legacy in uh, the best way he could. Similar to how uh, 
Brian Henson had directed The Muppet Christmas Carol shortly after uh, the passing of his father, J Jim Henson, though I would have loved for Jason Riemann's sister, Catherine Riemann, to also direct this movie with him. Goodness knows how uh, uh, awesome this movie could have turned out had the two Riemann siblings uh, worked on it uh, uh, together uh, uh, to uh, honour their dad. Uh, but uh, as it stands, uh, Jason Riemann sort of brought uh, the magic to Ghostbusters back, uh, but not by much. And and made a Ghostbusters movie that's just uh, uh, average. Yeah, you could just call this movie Ghostbusters average because it's so mis. But to give this review a positive start, uh, uh, Phoebe uh, is uh, without a doubt my favourite uh, character in uh, the movie, and uh, I am so happy uh, and gladly accept her as a... Uh, new generation brand new Ghostbusters team member and uh, her her autism made me relate to her so well. Finally another autistic character uh, in uh, the entertainment world like a Sheldon in Big Bang Theory like uh, her autism is her superpower and I love watching her grow as a character. To play an autistic role uh, uh, is uh, one of the hardest uh, things, but uh, she uh, uh, nailed it. And uh, and plus, uh, I I just dug the family dynamic with uh, Callie, the daughter of uh, uh, Elion, and uh, she's a single mother. And she's just lost her father, got a, moving into a brand new home with her two children, and uh, no husband uh, to help her, and uh, and even. Even the brother Trevor, yeah, he uh, was uh, a fun character and you could see how ecstatic he was that discover his uh, Ghostbusters heritage um, and uh, the family dynamic was uh, uh, the thing that helped this movie uh, together and uh, I that's what made me enjoy the first half of this film more than the second half. Even the slower paced family scenes that I found uh, were uh, were honouring the original uh, Ghostbusters legacy and do think the movie falters in its second half once it goes for the nostalgia bait. Yep, but it's just like Spider-Man No Way Home the exact same year. It overdoes the nostalgia and a fan service like uh, when the ghosts are, are unleashed and uh, we see this, uh, well, uh, sh she's like this... Uh, a uh, creature from the Black Laguna ghost with her two uh, hounds uh, from hell, and uh, then the original Ghostbusters team members uh, appear, like uh, B Bill Murray, uh, etc. And I honestly uh, didn't uh, get uh, the uh, the uh, goose bumps uh, that I wanted to seeing them again. I was just like, oh, it's just the original Ghostbusters team showing up, uh, but. Uh, they're kind of old and tired. Isn't it time that the brand new Ghostbusters uh, step in? Yeah, the climax would have been better had it just been uh, Callie, Phoebe and Trevor taking on the ghost threat. Even the ghosts uh, themselves uh, uh, don't uh, uh, look, uh, well, that intimidating and uh, not so uh, nearly as uh, impressively brought to life as uh, the... Uh, as the effects in the 1984 film. It is uh, a uh, better movie to look at than the 2016 film uh, in terms of visual effects, but that is not saying much at all. And when Phoebe was just making jokes uh, when the world uh, was uh, in danger, and I'm I'm like, Phoebe, this is not the time for joking around. I I love you, but you need to take the situation seriously. It just took away from the threat. And even Paul Rudd, Ant-Man himself, stars in this movie. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's just say uh, his character here, he's no uh, Scott Lang. And his character just didn't feel like a Ghostbuster to, to me. Even uh, the soundtrack I felt... Uh, uh, bust is a no, no pun intended. Like, uh, it was derivative and unoriginal to just play the original theme song in the end credits. I, uh, uh will 
forever uh, uh, jam to uh, that uh, uh, kick-ass uh, original theme song, but uh, I kind of wanted a new uh, theme song for uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, personally, and that's this movie's uh, 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 biggest problem. It uh, tries so hard to combine uh, the old and the new Ghostbusters, and with the new it succeeds, but uh, bringing back the old, it's uh, kind of fails. That third act especially is uh, is uh, an nothing but fan service uh, gal galore, and because of that, uh, uh, the, the second half of the movie b bored me, <laughs> yeah. So overall, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, to, is, uh, I would rank third in the Ghostbusters franchise. I would totally rank it above the 2016 reboot, but uh, below the 1984 film and Ghostbusters 2. I give Ghostbusters Afterlife two stars out of five. Meh, movie. So yeah, I highly doubt that Ghostbusters Frozen Empire will be much better than this, and... Uh, I would just love them for, to make one more Ghostbusters movie, you know, the great uh, uh, girl power, all-female Ghostbusters movie that the 2016 reboot should have been, but after that the franchise should call it a day. Well, I love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and what are your thoughts on Ghostbusters Afterlife, and uh, is it... Uh, uh, one of the better or worse sequels for you? Uh, do you, uh, how does it compare to, uh, uh, Ghostbusters 2 and the 2016 reboot? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you all next time, uh, when, uh, I, uh, have got, uh, reviews of Kung Fu Panda 4, Godzilla, Times Kong, A New Empire, uh, and Ghostbusters Frozen Empire coming your way, uh, around Easter time, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.